Hello learners, my name is Dr. Priya Mahajan. This session is on elasticity of supply. In the previous sessions on law of supply, we discussed that when the price of goods falls, its quantity supplied also falls and when the prices of it rises, its quantity supplied rises. This is generally known as law of supply. This law of supply indicates only the direction of change in quantity supplied in response to change in price. This does not tell us by how much or to what extent the quantity supplied of good will change in response to a change in its price. This information as to how much or to what extent the quantity supplied of a good will change as a result of change in its price is provided by the concept of elasticity of supply. So today we will study about the elasticity of supply. In this session we will study the meaning of elasticity of supply, then the measurement of elasticity of supply. We will also study the shapes of elasticity of supply curve in which we will study the five cases. And in last we will talk about the determinants or factors which impact the elasticity of supply. So first of all we will study the meaning of elasticity of supply. The elasticity of supply is the degree of responsiveness of quantity supplied of a good to change in its own price. In precise term, elasticity of supply is a percentage change in quantity supplied of a good to a certain percentage change in price of good. So if there is some percentage change in the price of commodity, then how much percentage change comes in quantity supplied, this is tell by the elasticity of supply. Next, we will study the measurement of elasticity of supply. Elasticity of supply is equal to proportionate change in quantity supplied upon proportionate change in price. It can also be written as Elasticity of supply is equal to delta Q upon Q divided by delta P upon P is equal to delta Q upon Q multiplied by P upon delta P. It can also be written as delta Q upon delta P multiplied by P upon Q where ES stands for elasticity of supply. Q stands for the original quantity, P stands for the original price and delta stands for small change. If change in price is very small then we can use initial price and initial quantity supplied but it should be carefully noted here that for large changes in price we must use midpoint method of calculating elasticity of supply. If P1 stands for initial price and P2 for the new price and Q1 for initial quantity and Q2 for the new quantity supplied, then midpoint formula for calculating price elasticity of supply can be written as ES equal to difference in quantity supplied divided by the average of initial and new quantity supplied divided by differences in price divided by average of initial and new prices. Difference in new and initial supply is denoted by delta Q and difference in new and initial price is denoted by delta P. Therefore, delta Q divided by Q1 plus Q2 multiplied by P1 plus P2 divided by delta P. So finally the formula is delta Q upon delta P multiplied by P1 plus P2 upon Q1 plus Q2. Elasticity of supply is denoted by small e and s. Now we will try to understand it through an example. 
if the price of a refrigerator rises from 2000 per unit to 2500 per unit and in response to this rise in price the quantity supplied increases from 2500 units to 3500 units the elasticity of supply by midpoint method will be so let's solve this delta q is 3500 minus 2500 is equal to 1000 units average of initial and new quantity supply is 3000 units where as delta p is 2500 minus 2000 is equal to rupees 500 average of initial and final price is rupees 2250 now we will put it in the formula and finally the elasticity of supply is 1.5 times it means that when price is increased by 1 then supply is increased by 1.5 times now next we will study the shape of supply curve and elasticity of supply shape of supply curve indicated the degree of elasticity of supply so the value of elasticity of supply we can find from the shape of this supply curve elasticity of supply has five cases the first is when elasticity of supply is equal to 1 then elasticity of supply is greater than 1 elasticity of supply is less than 1 elasticity of supply is equal to infinite and elasticity of supply is equal to 0 now we will see these five cases in detail the first case is when elasticity of supply is equal to 1 this is also called unitary elastic supply in this case rate of change in quantity supplied is exactly equal to rate of change in price it means there is same rate of change in supply and price if the price is changed by 10 percent it means the supply will also change by 10 percent hence the supply curve is a straight line originated from the origin and sloping upward and elasticity supply is equal to 1 as shown in the graph next is when elasticity of supply is greater than 1 this is also known as elastic supply curve in this situation rate of change in quantity supplied is greater than the rate of change in price it means that if the price is changed by 10 percent then supply is changed more than 10 percent an upward sloping straight line supply curve originate from y axis and elasticity of supply is greater than 1 as shown in the graph next case is when elasticity of supply is less than 1 this is known as inelastic supply curve in this situation rate of change in quantity supplied is less than rate of change in price an upward sloping straight line supply curve originates from x axis and elasticity is greater than 1 as shown in this graph an example of an inelastic supply is the supply of non necessity goods such as soft drinks where there are many substitutes and choices a change in price will not have impact on the supply since consumer would opt for other brands of soft drinks or prefer close substitutes now the fourth case is when elasticity of supply is infinite this is known as perfectly elastic supply curve in such a case the supply becomes zero with even a slight fall in price and becomes infinite with a slight rise in price this is indicative of the fact that the suppliers of such a commodity are willing to supply any quantity of the commodity at a higher price the supply curve is ss is parallel to x axis and elasticity of supply is infinite as shown in the graph and the last case is when elasticity of supply is equal to zero this is known as perfectly inelastic supply curve 
it is a situation when the quantity supplied of goods does not change at all in response to the change in its price the elasticity of supply is zero in the zero elasticity of supply the supply curve will be vertical straight line parallel to y axis and is said to be perfectly inelastic the supply of exclusive items like a painting of mona lisa falls into this category whatever might be the price on offer there is no way we can increase its supply the other real life examples of inelastic goods would be water gasoline housing and food so these are the different cases of elasticity of supply and we saw how these curves are made next we will study the determinants of elasticity of supply the elasticity of supply measures the response of a firm in terms of quantity supplied whenever there is a price change but what affects the degree to which the firm can respond to the change in price there are factors that influence the degree and pace at which firms can adjust their quantity in response to a price change determinants of elasticity of supply refers to factors that either make the supply curve more elastic or inelastic the main determinants of price elasticity of supply are the the first is availability of input for expanding output the extent to which the producer would raise supply of their products also depends on the availability of inputs required for the production of goods if inputs used in the production of a commodity are easily available at going market price then output of the commodity can be easily expanded with little rise in price this would show price elasticity of supply is relatively large on the other hand if production capacity for producing a product is limited or infrastructure facilities for expanding output of a commodity are not adequately available then even the sharp increase in price of the product will result in only a small expansion in output this indicates relatively inelastic supply for example if there is a lack of fertilizers and irrigation facilities the farmers would not able to raise the supplies of agriculture product in response to the rise in their prices even if they want to do so likewise in the industrial field if there is shortage of power fuel essential raw materials the expansion in supply would not be forthcoming in response to the rise in prices of industrial products next is the ease of accumulating stock when firms can store and keep their unsold goods they can adjust to the price change quicker imagine there there is a certain price drop the capacity to store their unsold goods would make their supply more responsive to changes as the firm could wait to sell its stock at the higher price later however if the firm doesn't have such capacity as it might face high cost or other reason it has a more inelastic supply curve next is ease of switching production if firms are flexible in their production process this will help them have a more elastic supply meaning they can adjust much quicker to price changes next is market entry barriers if there are many barriers to enter the market it cause the supply curve to become more inelastic on the other hand if the market entry barriers are low the supply curve is more elastic next is the length of time the elasticity of supply of a product also depends on the length of time during which producers have to respond to a given change in price of a product generally 
the longer the time producer get to make adjustment for changing the level of output in response to the change in price the greater the response of output that is the greater the elasticity of supply in the immediate and short period following a rise in price of a commodity it may not be possible for the firms to increase the input of labor especially skilled labor material and capital and therefore the supply may be price in elastic however over a long period the firm can hire more labor build new capacity to expand output this means long run supply in this means long run supply is price elastic so these are the different factors or determinants which impact the elasticity of supply so this is all about this session i hope this session make you clear about the concept of elasticity of supply so thank you and happy learning